The Daily Download. The Daily Download. Daily Download. With Mac and Gatos. The biggest stories. Now. Santa, me, and my guns. Mm-hmm. Only in Arizona. For a second year in, the ro- in a row, the Scottsdale Gun Club is hosting holiday photos mm. with the jolly man with the beard. Nothing says Christmas quite like a family photo with Santa and an AK-47. <laughs> From pistols to grenade launchers to assault rifles, each family member holds their choice of weapon. Yep, the Scottsdale Gun Club in Arizona. You go see Santa, you can sit on his lap and hold a machine gun. Yeah. Now, listen, I don't care how people spend their money. You can do whatever you want. If this is the holiday card you want to send out, I honestly, I don't care. The one thing I do care about is that I saw this story last night on Jimmy Kimmel, of all places. You get a national guy who takes the story and then makes your state look like a bunch of you know, oh, who cares? Right. I, no, who I, cares? Really. I thought we all cared when SB 1070 ruined the re- reputation we, of Arizona. We, can care, we care about stuff that we can control. If some guy in Hollywood wants to make fun Not of about us. This, the one guy it's about like, this. don't mess with Texas. But right. it's, don't mess but it, with Arizona. It, it's just one national guy. But this, this is the kind of stuff that gives Arizona a bad name. You know what? True. This is a brilliant marketing move. Because I know, from what I understand... Money. They are getting a ton of phone calls and people getting gift cards oh, and yeah. all sorts of stuff. It's that a gun funny, club. hey, listen, if you want to send out a, a crazy gift card, this is it. And I don't have a problem with it. The only thing that I'm saying is that when people from other places look at this and they say, oh, it's Arizona, yeah. they're the old West. Well, it's easy to say, eh, but I think a lot of people say, you know what, that's not what we're all about out here. The housing market is being held back. Yeah, guess, guess by who? You would think, what, the banks? They've yeah, done is it that damage. people can't get mortgages? No, it's first-time buyers who are very wary of getting a loan, of getting a house, and having to deal with something like that because it should be a very good time right now to buy your first home. Right. Prices are down to, what, 2,002 levels? Or or below. Yeah, and sellers are waiting and and saying, hey, let's get this thing going, and, and mortgage rates are the lowest ever. Right, but so remember. why aren't the first-time homeowners, why aren't they going after a home right now? Because the recession isn't over. And well, the the economic downturn isn't over, no, it's and they not. think that right. this may, you know, we've heard of second, third wave of foreclosures. Mm-hmm. And when you have financial experts saying, you know, I would be a renter more often than a buyer right now, people are waiting for the other shoe to drop and waiting for the for the market again people are not to buying. go back down. They don't think it's the bottom if yet. If you're young and you're uh, a professional and you want to uh, start a family, right? Uh, you're not you're not buying a house. Most people per- are not buying a house. They can't, either they can't or they just say. Not going to even try. I'm the perfect example. I thought I was getting a deal on my house in 2009. Yeah. Seven months later, it's $100,000 less than right. what I bought it for. And I think that people who are young and are first time, uh, possible first time buyers are looking at that and saying, you know what? I think it's, I think I'm not going to do it. I think it's too much of a risk. Right. Even though it's a good investment. Arizona is at the bottom of another list. Worst run states. Uh, Arizona is ranked 47th on a new list of uh, America's uh, best run states, actually. We're at the bottom of the best run states. Is that what it is? All right, so we're one of the worst run states. Right. Uh, I blame it on Brewer. uh, Arizonans without health insurance. Well, why don't you blame it on the Scottsdale Gun Club? I blame it on Ned and Connie in the morning. (laughs) I blame it on Bush. George W. Bush or the beer? Um, Bush I don't beer? like Bush beer. No, oh. Oh, no. Actually, I'm just I'm I'm just goofing around. Who do you blame it on? Uh, I blame it. Well, I, I can't point the finger up with just one person. I mean, right. the health insurance. Uh, Arizonans without health insurance is high. The nation's 16th highest. People living below the poverty line is the 13th highest. I mean, we don't have a lot of natural resources, or the natural resources we do have. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, nobody's doing well in this economy. So it seems that places like um, oh, oh! the state of Wyoming is run really well, but not a lot of people live in Wyoming. So when you have a lot of poor people right. in one particular state, that's really going to affect the way that state is run. Well, I mean, you know, we just talked about home prices. You know, in Arizona, the value of your house has probably since 2006 dropped around 30%. Right. But tell Jimmy Kimmel, California <laughs> is voted the worst I'm gonna watch. State. Uh, I'm going to watch Conan tonight. I would. He Letterman's is. too old. I don't, you yeah. know. Conan. And he's in New York. He's in New York. All right, that's a daily download. The five must-hear stories of the day, every single day at 5.05 on the biggest station in the Valley.